be on our country. That is no longer the mission statement of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. The Academy superintendent writing in a letter the following, saying, quote, these three hallowed words are the hallmark of the cadet experience and bind the long gray line together across our great history. Our responsibility to produce leaders to fight and win in our nation's wars requires us to assess ourselves regularly. So, you're wondering what's the new motto? Here it is, quote, to build, educate, train, and inspire the core of cadets to be commissioned leaders of character committed to the Army values and ready for a lifetime of service to the Army and nation. Come on in, Morgan Ortegas, spokesperson, a former spokesperson over at the State Department. Morgan, I think we can all agree that is not a bumper sticker uh, compared to the three words that used to be. But I wonder, what do you make of this change? It's the first time they've made a change since 1998. Why this? Why now? Well, as a U.S. Navy sailor, reserve officer, I love any time that I get to make fun of the Army. So <laughs> we have to poke fun of them a little bit. Listen, it's just... It's just a word salad, like from a pure marketing, and, and I've done a lot of marketing for uh, on the business side of things. I mean, as you said, it, it's a word salad. It's a mission statement. It's not a motto. It can't go on a bumper sticker. I think, you know, we see this in business sometimes when there's a new CEO or when there's a merger. Uh, or And now you're seeing this, you know, here um, with the Army. They probably had somebody new come in, and they wanted to put their stamp on things. Some people yeah. like to change things just to say that they did it. So I'm going to be generous with the Army and assume maybe something like that happened at West Point. I will tell you why I think it got so much traction is because we are, sadly, to take a serious turn, we are in the worst recruitment crisis uh, since the yeah. post-Vietnam era. Uh, it, it is a massive problem. And so I just think that the... Really sharp minds at West Point should be focused on how they are helping the Army serve this massive recruitment crisis problem um, instead of tinkering with mottos that, you know, work. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So here are the numbers. U.S. Uh, military recruiting shortfalls. Army, 10,000. Navy, about 7,500. Uh, U.S. Air Force, about 2,800. Does this solve any of that? I know. No, but it's not effectuated by, um, by, by this process or West Point at all. West Point is highly selective. This is not you just going to sign up, meeting the physical yeah, standards, no, and getting in. This is the Yale-Harvard of when we're talking about the military. So let's not act like even if the motto stayed the same, that this was going to change the recruitment standards for the Army, the Navy, or the others, whereas people are now just not entering military service at the rates that we've seen them in previous generations. I do take issue with the fact that the um, um, that the motto changed just because now it sounds a lot more nonprofit mission, whatever. They it just went, went from on three and to on 34 and words. It's excessive. But to her point, I, I, look, the power of threes. We know why you had the first three. Yeah, That's right. beautiful branding. I think the Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light marketing team moved to West Point. And I think it's <laughs> killing them. I mean, look at that. This what has nothing that to do with mean? the DEI fight. This I know, is I know, this, a bad management mean? decision. You, we're going to go into war and talk about a paragraph? Morgan, Are you kidding me? Morgan, last word here. I, I actually don't think this is political. I think this is just really poor management by somebody. Okay. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.